Hi, and welcome to Market Conversations. Today, I will be talking about three penny stocks that you guys should have on your watch list. But before I get started, I just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. Also, if you are planning to switch brokerages from Robinhood to a different platform, Webull is currently offering four free stocks right now, two just for signing up and two more when you deposit just $100. You can always take the money back once you get your free stocks. If you are interested, I will leave my link down below. Also, I want to thank everyone who has been very supportive. I was able to reach 1,000 subscribers, so thank you all for that. So let's get started. The first penny stock I'm going to talk about is SOS Limited. The stock closed at $2.80 yesterday. And just a few days ago, it went to a high of $4.10. If you don't know what this company is, they are a holding company mainly engaged in consumer credit business and emergency rescue services business. The company also operates insurance agency business through its subsidiary. The company through its subsidiaries is engaged in providing a consumer lending marketplace for lenders and borrowers in China with predictive selection technology, automated decision technology, and non-credit data analytic and risk-based pricing capabilities. It also works in the Internet of Things, blockchain, and artificial intelligence markets. SOS Limited is quite a broad company in its operations. On January 9th, they made an exciting announcement. The company stated that it had completed the initial steps of its blockchain strategy. This includes the successful development of cutting-edge biological info storage systems, firewall systems, antivirus, and AI. The chairman of SOS stated that R&D is our lifeblood and our growth engine. We anticipate investing 15% of our revenue in R&D and the annual growth of R&D budget to be over 10% in each of the next five years. The company also stated that it had established a new subsidiary known as Qingdao SOS Digital Technologies. This group will focus on researching cryptocurrency to find new ways to utilize it in its business. This group will focus on researching cryptocurrency to find new ways to utilize it in its business. Since cryptocurrency is very hot right now, you guys should definitely keep this on your watch list. I can see it going to at least $5 by the end of 2021. The second penny stock I'm going to talk about is Otosa Therapeutics. The ticker symbol is ATOS. It closed at two dollars and 37 cents yesterday and as we can see just a couple of days ago it went to a height of 377 and back in july it went to a high of five dollars and eight cents this company targets breast cancer and covid19 Atosa has a phase one study observing the efficacy of its drug at301 this nasal spray can be administered at home for those suffering from COVID-19. Dosing is complete and data output is expected. The company previously explained that the preliminary assessment of AT301 nasal spray was safe and well tolerated. These results could also support advancing into a phase two study. Just recently, the company received $21 million from the exercise of outstanding warrants. The CFO, Kyle Goose, and general counsel, he stated, we completed financings with gross proceeds of approximately $60 million and in the past week had added an additional $21 million to our balance sheets through the exercise of outstanding warrants. We look forward to the speed at which we can now advance our programs in 2021. That is a very positive statement. They can use that proceeds to expand their company now. I can see Atosa going back to $5 by the end of 2021. The third penny stock I'm going to talk about is Ally Esports Entertainment. The ticker symbol is AESE. It closed at $2.04 and it's trying to stay above this resistance here. 
and just a couple of days ago, it went to a high of 249. If you don't know what this company is, they are focused on providing transformative live experiences, multi-platform content, and interactive services to audience worldwide through its entertainment brands. Just recently, Allied Esports Entertainment renewed its exclusive naming rights for its flagship property HyperX Esports Arena Las Vegas. The company was able to reach a deal to sell off its World Poker Tour brand with other poker-related business and assets for roughly $78.3 million. The CEO of Ally Esports Entertainment stated, due to COVID's 19 impact on the company's overall revenue generation and profitability timeline, we believe the forthcoming sale of the WPT business will garner significant capital in an avenue to determine new opportunities that will deliver accelerated returns for our stakeholders. So now that they have more money, they can use that money to expand and explore other areas. This sounds like a very bullish catalyst to me. So definitely keep an eye on Ali's Esports Entertainment. So that's all I have for you today. Please conduct your own due diligence before placing any trades. If you did enjoy this video or if you found any value, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below.